Set and Gaia. Oh, that might be fun. I'm Tundra. That's actually going to be really fun. Because Gaia on Wubli Balance patch is not half bad. And considering that set is not really all that all that aggressive of potentially, I don't know, Oranos or Norse. Might be an interesting mid game for both of these players. And we are starting, for example, with Shalty, having a bit of a look into Garibus at the top and having a pretty nice line of forest in here, serving as natural kind of walling. Yeah, it's not really bad for him. And having also seen or seen the Elks on the right, he definitely knows that he is in is in to stay in this base. And he's also having oh well. Super safe gold on the bottom of the map, which definitely will help him. So right now it seems like there is a bit winning the lottery. In the meantime, there is a gold on the right, right next to the TC, so that's probably going to be dictating where he wants to develop his gameplay. It's going to be for this second TC and Migdol somewhere around this gold probably would be expecting. It's like some kind of a reasonable game plan for him. Building LS, great relic. We are discovering at least a few extra Aurochs, and they are probably going to be the target for the priest to conquer for him, or rather, conquer, <laughs> what is it, the other word, convert for him. So at least making use of the Aurochs on the right for the same reason. And well, we are already discovering the TC for Spoink, and does he have something extra to capture in there with it, like gold? So far we don't see, but we are seeing Aurochs. A potentially interesting spot for him to continue to since he is right now on the Elks and really this is this seems pretty reasonable for him to continue for the Aurochs especially with the gold right now being discovered as it will make it easier for him to capture the town center which I think should be happening because he's of course Gaia and will be relying on strong economy. In the meantime front TC for him is quite favorably placed to be honest because it's also in this part of the map and there are Caribus and Relic for gold trickle. Not bad. So yep, we are probably going to be seeing Spoink developing himself into this part of the map fully and very soon, even though he needs to be careful because so far this is just one gold and it's almost looking like that the rest of the gold mines are going to be on the left. So yeah, it's going to be also important to somehow develop in that direction. Since the map is spawned kind of this way, I would be halfway expecting that the DC for Shelty will be about here. Let's see if we are going to be right as... Uh, Spoink's Oracle is having a bit of fun with Shelty's Hyena. I know the gold. Just confirming that there's a lot of gold mines on the left. And the town center actually. Okay, so I'm wrong and I'm definitely right or rather glad about that. Because it will make the game a whole lot, whole lot more interesting. Because Shelty suddenly has a different option. And to be honest, quite a good one. If he doesn't want to go for safe TC, he might opt to go for the aggressive one and he will capture pretty much, not fully, but pretty much, both of these gods. And another hunt in here, so yeah, this makes kind of a lot of sense for him to capture as well, as soon as possible, because this is a pretty good important spot on the map for map control, and it really will be kind of hard for Spoink else to do anything about. Just in Aurochs behind the base, or Shelty. Another Aurochs on the right. So yeah, it's going to be up to Shelty to decide if he wants to go, how is it called, passively or aggressively. But usually lately, you see players go in passively all around. So I would, if I had to guess, it's going to be this TC that he takes first. But strategically more sound would definitely be the one in the front. In the meantime, a lot of forest being cast around the gold, so that a Spoink is protecting it as much as he can from any kind of raiding. And this is actually nicely used with the natural forest that has been grown by the map generation and oh man he's actually looking maybe to even close it up with the last forest about here rather the third as we are looking at vision on top of his base and that's for shifting sands and is it going to be on the gold or what's going to happen oh that's going to be actually oh <laughs> you can see what this is going to result in deal oh well Unfortunately for him, Spoink was really paying attention quite enough and he was he's not going to be fast enough for Oceanus and there's going to be Carnivore on top of that. Uh, but at the same time, it's only one villager repairing. And it's going to be kind of funny. Maybe getting kind of funny. But I'm all getting nicely targeted by Spoink. Oh, and he's dead and that sucks and towers are coming out and that sucks even more. So okay, it's going to be a pretty short game. 
Uh, <laughs> even though that was a kind of interesting idea, he cannot really get enough of that, and he needs just to send the goats, those goats away so that the villagers can actually go for it. And I would just really fight if I were spoiling. I would really fight citizens against against those dudes. And this is super close. And it's looking to be a fail. Yeah. It's going to be basically down center down, but at the same time it's not going to net him anything because Classic Age is in. Classic Age is in. And no loss on villagers. Uh, I'm thinking that points should, should be having enough resources. <laughs> oh, let's not be too hasty. <laughs> let's not be too hasty like at all. This could actually be even an interesting game still, because of course this also means that Spoink is housed. And even if he builds military barracks, he cannot actually make any kind of units. Vajet? Ah, here is something that you could be killing. But Kaladria is definitely making her presence count, and she's doing a good job. Unfortunately, both the priest and Pharaoh are already there, and villages are just killing absolutely everything. Shelty is rebuilding his economy, and... Man, this could be actually quite fun. He needs to get rid of the last tower! The tower first! Please, please, please! He's trying to get there, and it's kinda hard for him. Can he do that? Can he kill it? Can he kill it? No, he cannot. But he could be with, with the citizen right now. And he definitely will. So, okay, that's going to be end of the Odyssey. And he could be at least stealing the goats, come on! Chelty, at least steal the goats! Send them somewhere else, just don't leave them there. And help your opponent, oh man. But at the same time, it's... Two citizens, three citizens, and oh yeah, that's kind of fine for a spoink. Even though he's without town center, he cannot build more. I'm thinking that Chelty has lost a whole lot more than he was hoping for. He's down to about how many villages? Nine. <laughs> yeah, kind of sucks. Nine villages. His opponent is having one, two, three then, and three, six citizens. So he's having better economy in there. And going for town center somewhere at the bottom, maybe. So far he probably doesn't have the resources, but he's going to be near in there. He doesn't have gold, so he needs to continue with gold mining. And he's even building some kind of army, more mills. <laughs> Not exactly sure for what reason. And finally, Shel Shelty has at least noticed that he needs to steal the goats. Uh, but yeah, that was probably the reason why the Murmilla was coming there. As he's attempting to steal them for himself. But the budget is going to be exactly against that. Let's see. Ooh. Is he gonna notice? Healthy. Well, Pharaoh is right now up there. With budget trying to kill them. Pharaoh needs to kill Kaladria finally. And oh well, this cost a lot of food and or rather a lot of resources at this stage, but so far it's probably not going to matter as Kaladria is just now down. And unfortunately Pharaoh as well, of course, with all the ghosts being in here. And and that's gonna be a lot of extra food for Spoink and pretty much the same situation, so not any kind of problem for him. In the meantime, Shelty is still not building any kind of military. Just trying to rebuild his economy. But same could be said pretty much about Spoink, who is finally getting enough resources for the town center. So he's going to be getting back into the game. And once he is having the town center, it should be pretty hard for Shelty because there are already at least a few units with the scouting looking at what actually Shelty is going to do. And Spoink is going to be as annoying as he can be. But at least some wolfies are going to be in the defense. Coming for the town center, it's looking like. As well, that's definitely going to be disrupted, unfortunately. But the wolfies should be uh, enough, I'll be thinking. Let's see if that's going to be right or not. Oh yeah, that's going to be fine. <laughs> but carnivora is a bit more problem. A bit more of a problem than maybe he expected, and it's actually even a bigger problem uh, because she's having such a huge attack against the settlement being built that it's not really coming up at all, especially with the help of those dudes. And yeah, pretty tough moment right now for Shelty as Point is getting back uh, onto one TC reasonably soon, and this guy just needs to be killed by Pharaoh or a priest at least. And it's already coming into fight, and that's a pretty huge problem because Shelty was hoping that right about now he was already going to be at second DC and getting economy on his feet, but yeah, that's exactly not happening and needs to switch somewhere else. Whereas Point is already going for a second one and of course there's not going to be any kind of chance that Shelty could be capturing it for himself. 
Yeah, not heal him, just get away. <laughs> You're in the way, priest. <laughs> that was one annoying priest. Eric's coming up right now, and Shelty seems to be thinking that he might be actually in a position to somehow... Huh? Work it out. As he's converting animals behind his base, but he has basically abandoned the idea about the second TC. But looking at the economy of his opponent, that is basically just now kind of okay -ish, as opposed to what Shelt is having. We are probably looking at kind of prolonged suffering, I'm thinking. <laughs> as Poink is probably going to be having the reins of the game from now on. Especially since he's still having the Carnivora at the bottom, basically scouting the TC. And, well, he's going to be attempting a bit of raiding also behind the bases but that's not going to be successful because the watchtowers are exactly in the correct placements it's a very nice placements for him all four of them so he shouldn't be having any kind of problems in there going for spearman as the fast three unit probably for a bit of raiding as opposed to axemen against the murmels yeah finally having some kind of army together together with the priests and well in the meantime, of course, Poink's uh, economy is going to be growing, and he's right now having 40 advantage in score, or you can kind of expect a bit more, but of course, with Shelty, probably right now succeeding with the second DC because of the army already in place for him, this is really going to be very important because we have said that a bit, or rather at the start of the game, that this is, for an Egyptian, quite good. He's going to be capturing this gold and this gold pretty much. And if he can somehow build on that, then Spoink is still in for a lot of game. Going for another TC, so it's going to be 3 already for him. Shelty almost looking like that he could be attempting the TC at the bottom yet again, but he's gonna, gonna need this uh, this Pharaoh or other priest maybe, not really sure. But a lot of guys trying to find something to kill and raid, and they definitely could be succeeding right at the bottom next to gold if those guys are going for it but they aren't they are probably aiming for the hand and maybe even help with the town center hiding at the top or just hiding in there just probably hiding for market a bit later technology is being researched but counter barracks are coming up so it's going to be a switch into turmas or a bit more effective radiant than just the more Milos, and that's of course going to be quite good and helpful to Spoink's game. Amore is probably going to be heroic age faster than the 30C. Well, the resources are far away. For Spoink, not much better. <laughs> Husbandry coming up for Shelty. So that's just so that he doesn't spend as much time walking, which makes sense because he doesn't want to spend time building the granary. Not exactly sure why, it would be maybe slightly better for him, efficient, but it would be basically just a few few resources difference, I'm thinking maybe a few seconds in the walk time in total out of all those animals. So yeah, why, why waste the time? It's not really all that needed and you're gonna get help from the husbandry reasonably soon in there. A lot of it is coming in, that's probably going to be for the gold I would be expecting as he's also raiding at the bottom. Uh, but unfortunately for him, Spoink is paying enough attention for that and he's of course having the town center already in place. I doubt though there might be a bit of a problem for him, because you could have seen that the citizen wasn't really clicked in on the building as soon as he was available to be built. Which means that Spoink is having problems with food. <laughs> he's having actually problems with everything. But he's booming from 3 TC, so of course it's not really all that bad. And are we going to be seeing <laughs> VD rush times too? Oh, we definitely are. He definitely are. Is there Carnivora? Yes, there is. But there is, of course, Sheshong the third, and quite a lot of army right now from Spoink. But since this TC is right now not uh, being guarded by anything, uh, he also mustn't forget one simple little thing. The Chelsea cannot build the TC after it is destroyed because of the, of the lush. He needs to wait after that a bit, so he might be sorely disappointed if he's forgotten about this. I mean, the idea is kind of... Uh, I don't want to say sound, it's kind of... 
is gonna all in as the whole game from him is. And he definitely won't be able to support even building the DC itself. It's looking like that Spoink's army is quite strong, especially or rather because he's having three TCs of course, so it's kinda okay for him. As we're looking at villagers or other citizens trying to repair, but of course they're gonna die. And well, right now, town center is going to be down and the villagers are they're going to be going somewhere a bit else, he doesn't even have the resources for it, so he's coming for the granary and trying to <laughs> really win this fight with villagers. This is highly unusual, but of course, it's nice to see. And this is of course important for another reason, uh, because Poing has used 600 wood to build those three farms and they are not safe anymore, so he needs to spend them yet again. And that's a pretty huge hit to his economy. We have seen a bit earlier that it's strained as much as it could be. It's right now housed, but that will help him reach the heroic cage. And that's actually not a bad idea at all for him. Normal Murmilos, probably normal... Oh, medium speed, I would be wrong. Normal Slingers. Shelty. Not gonna economy there, but he's going to be sorely disappointed once Poink actually hits Heroic Cage, which I am thinking might be reasonably soon. But the stealing of the hand, <laughs> not really a bad idea. And he's definitely waiting here to basically win the fight and steal the TC, but it's not working for him at all, as he's not having enough push with the army. And that's probably a reason for that is also, because he's having just two barracks. Yeah, he definitely needs a whole lot more. He needs a whole lot more barracks than that he's having. Because he cannot really supply it as barracks are making units so slow. Various Spoink is having reinforcements without any kind of problem as Town Center is yet again coming up. And Shelty is, of course, in pretty deep trouble. He cannot stop this anytime soon. So Hunter's at the top right now from Red. As he's also using still the gold. That's for basically majority of the game. Even Barry's being used by Shelty. <laughs> villages right now need to retreat into a bit of a safety and yeah this is just a bit of a shame i think yeah, for shelter that he doesn't have more military buildings because it does seem we have the resources to support at least two extra barracks one for slingers one for spearmen and that could be turning the battle around because uh, it's not like spoiling is having all that many military buildings himself he's having literally or literally he's having two two oh actually no he's having three two that's all the more reason all the more reason for that and Oh no, don't do it. Don't do it again. <laughs> He's actually trying to kill the villagers first. Oh no, not a bad idea. But he's right now having enough army to kill at least a few citizens and no citizens on top of that in here and try to stop the TC which he is succeeding with. Army is slowly trickling in. But is it really fast enough? I'm not really all that sure. But Chelty is not really giving up with the villagers and he's trying to push his agenda as more as he, as much as he can. Let's see if he's going to succeed or not. Get rid of, rid of the... Uh, what is it? Counter barracks. Unsuccessfully for him right now. Okay, spoink. Not advancing the next age, spending all of army but not really into upgrades and care ballista oh well that could be slaughter yeah those care ballista could be a problem and a game changer right here because for that shelty needs to position the slingers correctly to single them out and that's going to be pretty hard for him it's going to be pretty hard for him to do before he loses absolutely everything else to those guys so we're just coming to the bottom for granary <laughs> all those 17 poor souls that were just a moment ago under fire of the enemy TCs and whatnot are just now going to be switching into animals. And let's have a look, for example, into economy upgrades. We are seeing a pickaxe blow. And that's it for Shelty. Whereas for the opponent, we are looking at what? Oh, already irrigation and bow saw and pickaxe. So a lot of economy upgrades for him. As of course, he is Gaia, so he can research on Wobbly Balance Patch. Uh, all the upgrades in rather from classical age or maybe even from archaic simply earlier than they are available normally but that's of course a pretty big problem for him as point is going to be getting ahead in the economy in the meantime at least uh, shelter is trying to raid at the top where there were at least a few citizens three of them that's actually not that bad and copper shields coming up of course point to help defend against all those lingers 
and slowly but surely creeping onto this one gold miner at the top. But in the meantime, of course, Spoink is covering the 30C and is having a pretty big army right now that is gonna get rid of all those guys at the top. And since he isn't losing any kind of resources, he should be probably advancing into the next age sometime soon, like for example now. But Shelty is coming up as well. The left is so he's not going to be really all that far behind. With Taya being researched right now for the Gaia. Going for the TC, this department at the bottom, whereas the one at the top is coming for probably Migdol. Or another really fight. Who knows? Oh, it's looking like that he's gonna attempt to drop an aggressive Migdol. Or not? No, he is not. He was probably thinking that he might actually go for Ancestor's attack. Uh, but with the palace in there, that's pretty much toast. The idea is toast right now. Especially with masons that will be researched in time. So Pignol is going to be coming up. And well, this game is still not over at all. Even though there is pretty important raiding on the left right now happening. As Poink is just now fighting a lot of Willis on the hunt. And that's a pretty huge blow. As Shelty is gonna lose a ton of Willis. And much more importantly, a lot of food Willy time. And well, with the palace being built at the top, Spoink is discovering, or rather securing, another gold mine for himself, just beside the one at the bottom. Yeah, we can't even see it. Yeah, the large gold mine in here, behind the Gaia trees. One, two, Kato stay. Yeah, this hero citizen is probably gonna die. Ancestors cast, and a lot of heroes coming up. Okay, so that's going to be pretty much useless, those Ancestors, but they are still gonna bind a lot of fire from these dudes. And villagers are yet again, together with the support of the elephants, and he is unfortunately housed. So he needs to really hurry up, and yeah, he needs to get rid of the military barracks in here. It's going to be pretty fast, he needs to target it, because it's just the basis. Or the foundation, which means that he's having uh, abysmal defense and such. And right now he can get all around it, and of course, even though it's costing him a lot of villages, oh, he cannot really find everything at once. He is in a pretty tough spot, as that one military barracks under construction definitely screwed him over quite a lot. And yeah, the fight is not really going all that well because the archive, together with the Kerobaliste, are just getting absolutely everything. And even though he's gonna finish with the town center, it is at a brutal cost of villages. Most like, I don't know, 15, 20 maybe. The TC is down, but is it going to be enough? I'm not really all that sure, as mercenaries are the only fighting power in here at the bottom against all those Murmels that were threatening at this gold mine in here on the left. Pity Clay from Spoken coming up. A last gold mine available basically at the bottom. This could be available. A bot, Spoink knows, knows about it, so he needs to be careful. Shelty. And how's it looking with resources? Number one, totally toast. Number two, oh, that's a lot of them. I was kind of thinking that maybe he might want to go for a faster Titan, but he doesn't have the favor. So Tartaria gate right now at the back TC and since the town center doesn't have any kind of upgrades like masons or fortified or anything, it is actually a pretty big problem because it will probably result in not only the economy, the food economy getting toast, it will also result in the TC coming down. And <laughs> not even from them, as Shelty is finally calling it the game and even though this was <laughs> a funny game, It was just up to Spoink to basically control control it enough. Then he was just infinitely going to, going to be infinitely better off because of the sole virtue that he was Atlantean and he didn't really need the town center all that much in the early age to still have pretty good economy to get back on his feet. Yeah, it definitely was a fun game. And it actually took Spoink quite a lot of time to somehow salvage the win out of this. Check the post game. That's going to be won by Spoink pretty much all of it, I'm thinking. Yeah, the economy. <laughs> pretty much a double. Pretty much a double.
and 12. You can right now enjoy basically the attacks with the villages. So this was the first one. Drop in release, second one, drop in release, third one, drop in release. <laughs> Always the attack on the town center in there. Well, GG. Congrats, Poink. Or winning the match against Shelty 5-1.